Hello all you OneNote users. For those using Windows, over the last few years, a lot of you guys have reached out to me and said, hey, how do I make it so my text containers float or move more precisely across the page when either taking notes or digital planning? Today, I'm gonna to show you two useful tips to help you improve your ability to take notes with OneNote, so stay with me. Well, for those of you that are new, I'm Brandon Bondorfer and welcome to our channel. I am the creator and founder of the Key to Success Planning System. We created a digital planner that'll help you grow professionally. So if you're daily planning on paper or want to improve your digital planning efforts, by all means, subscribe to our channel. In addition, we offer a lot of free content on technology and different tips and reviews. So by all means, like this channel and follow us for more. But today, guys, we're gonna talk about something that we discovered. I was on a call this morning with a guy named Corey, and I am someone that uses Windows, I use Mac, and I use OneNote for all my digital planning. And with OneNote on a Windows machine, using a desktop version from time to time when you're creating containers or text fields box, you just can't get those things to position exactly like you want to. So I'm gonna show you these two tips on how you can improve your ability to take notes inside of OneNote. So let's take a look. So diving into it, we're looking at our daily planning page here on our digital planner. You can see we have some written notes over here as well as some type notes here during our daily schedule. Well, I wanna add something to six o'clock. And you can see I clicked on six o'clock, but my cursor was a little off. I'm gonna go ahead and type in meeting with Tom. Now, if I go over top the container, I can move that. And you can see it moves like it is. It moves as if it is snapping to a grid. Now, what we've taught you guys in the past is one really good way to fix this is to take your finger hold down the alt key and now if you see as i move that it moves ever so slightly so this also works really good if you're taking notes so jumping over to the notes section here you can see my cursor didn't align where i typed and i'm going to go ahead and write tom likes fishing on the dock he has a bass boat from bass pro so you can see here if i take that container and i slide it it moves as if it is snapped to a grid now if you're doing uh, different grid work or design this is a really awesome feature but if you're doing typing or you're moving different objects on your page it becomes quite challenging again i hold the alt key down and i can move that ever so precisely and put it right where I want to. But what happens if we just don't wanna to have to hold the alt key every single time and we just wanna eliminate this feature and turn it off? Well, you can do that. You can start by going to the toolbar and clicking on draw. From there, look over by the shapes and there is a down arrow that says more. You click on that and a pop-up field shows. And you can see right here, it says snap to grid. By clicking on that, we're essentially turning that off. And now you can see if I type without holding the Alt key down, I can easily move those text boxes and containers wherever I want to. I about fell off my chair when I learned that I could permanently turn off that snap to grid feature in OneNote and easily turn it back on by just simply going to the toolbar, clicking on draw and going into the shapes area and turning on and off that snap to grid. Guys, this is going to be a huge productivity tool for you if you're doing digital planning. So by all means, go ahead, jump on your machine and do it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And for those of you that found this information helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe to our page, and invite more people to learn about this awesome tool. I'm Brandon Bonifer, and I'll see you guys again.